So you know, of course, Lovett had his famous office up on the, the fourth floor of Lovett Hall, and he stayed in there from, you know, the day he moved his desk in until, um, until the day that he retired. But he always kept an office in the building, right? So first he had this enormous office, and then he had a smaller office, but until the day he died, he, he had an office uh, he had an office in the building. And, and one of the things we have in here is this, this box of things that were in his desk after, uh, after he died. And it's, you know, mostly memorabilia, but that's not all. We've got his glasses, the little case that they, that they came in. There's some other neat stuff too. There's a beautiful leather-covered volume with his name on it of uh, the book called Houston as a Setting of the Jewel, the Rice Institute, 1913. We've got his, his notebooks, little address books and little books that, that uh, you know, he made notes to himself in. You know, it's nothing, it's nothing earth-shattering, really, but it's it gives you, to hold them in your hands, just gives you this powerful sense um, of his presence. I have to say also that, you know, his handwriting was, it, it was beautiful, and it, it always stayed beautiful. It's fascinating to open them up and see, you know, the people that he corresponded with all over the world. You know, academics um, in Italy, in France, Germany, you know, you can feel his presence, feel his hands um, on these things. One of the one of my favorite things in here is this. It's the embossed uh, thing that you you make the seal with. It's really heavy, it must be lead. Um, so you see the seal backwards on here, and I imagine he used it as a paperweight, probably, you know, his entire career. What's remarkable about this is that it helps me understand Love It not just as, you know, sort of this abstraction who had a vision of the institution, but as, as a living, breathing human being who, you know, had to keep notes so he wouldn't forget, he wouldn't forget what he was supposed to do. He went to work. He got up, he got dressed, he walked to work, up all those flights of stairs to that office. And he sat down at his desk just like everybody else does. 